just a, a coincidence because I was, I was uh, choking my chicken to the juggies just uh, just a few moments really ago. Really funny because I was masturbating to the Good Time Party Boys. Wow. <laughs> I see you have your priorities That's in right. order. If there's one thing we've learned in almost three years of doing this show from talking to guys like yourselves and hearing what you had to say, it's that men are filthy, disgusting barn animals. Yes. Especially when they can make money off it. Men will go to dangerous and repulsive lengths for money, whereas women won't. No. I'll give you an example. No woman has ever paid one of her girlfriends ten bucks to eat a saltine with a booger on it. No. no. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's how I amass my fortune, Jimmy. <laughs> no. Never they, in the history of the world. No, they would not do it because they know they could get one of us to eat the booger for them, right? It's two things. Number one, we value money more than women because more of us work for it, let's be honest. Yeah. And um, number two, it takes a whole lot more to gross us out. Yes. Like uh, last year, I was in this god awful porta potty in New Orleans during Mardi Gras, and there was a quarter on the floor floating in like five different kinds of man juice. It, it, was, <laughs> it was really more like a man smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> And I said to Jimmy, how much cash would have to be laying out there for you to pick it up? Yeah, it's a real dilemma. We spent the next three days debating what percent of guys would, do, what percent of guys would fish money out of an unflushed toilet. And, you know, how many would go for the $5 bill? How many would go for the 20 But the truth is, there's really only one way to find out. Right. That's right. That is so right. Now... Which you're about to see was described by one of our network executives as the most revolting thing she's ever seen. Yeah. Not, not just on television, but in her life. Yeah. <laughs> Please, if you're eating or... Listen, anyone who's not blind, cover your eyes. All right? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's roll the tape. You want to have some fun? All you need is a beer, a $20 bill... And a nice big old fake dude. <laughs> All right. All right. The trap is set. Yeah. And let's see if we catch any mice. Here we go. Here comes guinea pig number one. What's he doing? <laughs> Willie or won't he? I think that's, that's Shaft, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> the pen is mightier than the turd. Yeah. <laughs> like a delicious fondue doo. Yeah. <laughs> this is the kind of guy you want to go fishing with, you know? Yeah. Not going to be afraid of anything. Oh, and let's see. Fun. Well, you don't want to... You know, Oh, jeez. You know, I, I, mean, I chew on pens all day long. That really disgusts me. All right. Let's have a look at contestant number two here. Pops his head in. What? A little double take. Oh! Right. <laughs> Jewelers don't get that close to a diamond. I think he's going to wash his mustache in there. How close do you need to get? All right. Let's see. Willie or Willie? No. 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 no! no, no, listen, he probably figures, probably figures there's a 50 in the next stall. <laughs> He's moving on to bigger and better things. All right, let's have a look at Lucky Bachelor number three. All right, he has an interesting technique. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> I like that. It's like... I like the sweater wrapped around his shoulders. Yeah. Like he's he's off, off to play tennis at the country club after this. Smart collegiate look. By the way, I'll normally shut the door before I pull my penis out. It's <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I do. All right. All right. And, oh, Let's here see. we go. Oh. <laughs> another, another shrewd move. I, I think he, he figures if he floods the toilet, the 20 will magically float it out. It will float out. What do you think? Is he going to do it or yeah. won't he? Yeah. All right, let's have a look. And yes! Oh, he's not done either. Well, cl cleanliness is next to godliness, you yeah. know? 
Uh, the real he's, MacGyver. Yeah. He's, oh, he's getting both sides. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. God we trust. Uh, that's right. <laughs> this is 20 is probably in my wallet right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sweet smell of victory. Well, there you have it. Another All right. successful Very nice. man show experiment. One thing you can't say is we we're flushing money down the toilet. No, nobody flushed at all. And really, guys, wash your hands, please. You know, we weren't able to get any real statistics on this because after about three guys, we, we started vomiting and said, the hell with this. <laughs> we got much less disgusting stuff on the way. Sock puppets and hot dogs. If there's a, anybody still watching, we'll be right back. It's the man show. show and if you're just joining us you're extremely lucky let's just leave it at that yes i don't know how exactly to explain what we have coming up next you guys ever seen a sock have sex with another sock <laughs> all right well now you're gonna take a look at this <laughs> day in and day out all i do is vacuum while my husband stays at work all day long. Oh, I'm so lonely. <laughs> Someone's at the door. Whoever could that be? Delivery man, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, 
That's why my socks are always sticking together. That's right. When we come back, you're going to see me happier and more at peace with myself than I've ever been before. And you're also going to see me scare the hell out of somebody. Stay here. It's the man show. The man show presents What Would Adam Do? You're on a first date with a beautiful young lady. Suddenly, a woman comes out of her dress. Should you, A, alert your date to her predicament? Or B, pretend nothing has happened and risk her thinking you're a pervert? What would Adam do? Waiter! That's what Adam would do! Yeah, 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 it is the man show, and you may think that doing this program is my dream job, but it isn't. No, it's not. Recently, we took a trip to New York, and uh, as you're about to see, Jimmy really found his calling. Take a look at Jimmy Kimmel, hot dog vendor. Yeah. We're in New York City. Well, I'm in New York City. You're always here, right? Oh, yeah. This is the John, the hot dog guy, and we're going to sell some hot dogs together today, right? Yes, sir. All right, snap to it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's do it. I don't want that. Dude. There you go. That's $17. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell am I going to do with that? You like new things? You like to try new things? Because I got some nice, uh, I got some nice raisins. I can throw a few raisins in there. You like that? Here, just try. No, put, no, no, no. I'll, no. Put, I'll put one in there. No. No, I'm gonna make I you want... something special. No, what? I don't want to special. Right. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's that? Hold this on. is Captain Crunch. No, I don't want no Captain Crunch. Do you just have a little bit of Captain Crunch. Okay. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna take a bite. You take a bite. I'm gonna first. cover that all. You take a bite first. It with tastes good. Sour and crap. And I eat some. Listen, I have I have this every day. I'm happy to take a bite. No. All right, hold on to that for one second. Just grab it at the end. Just grab it at the end. Yeah? Yeah, just, yeah, just eat it off the end. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. Uh, just eat it off the end. There you go. We always say around here, the customer comes first, right? Oh, all the time, Mr. Jim. And good hygiene comes second. What do you like? <laughs> and a squirt of delicious whipped cream. I think you're going to love this. Uh. All right, you don't want the whipped cream? No, I don't. I don't like whipped cream. I don't eat whipped cream. I don't. But so you know, a lot of people don't. I don't like it. I care for it. My job. You know what I? You know what I like to do with these pretzels? I give them a kiss before I give them to the customers. There you go. We give each pretzel with a kiss. It's no charge. No, no, but I'd rather go for one with. All right. Without the kiss. All right. Diet Pepsi. You should go with the diet. You should go with the diet. There you go. What? We don't like healthy men. Yeah, I know, but you are going to drop that in about three weeks. There's some more napkins, all right? Take it, no charge. That's all right. It's on me. You want to hear something funny? No. My name is Frank. And so every time somebody comes up and they go, Frank, please, I think, you know, I think they're talking to me. I don't know what the hell these guys are talking about. I go, you know, I look at these guys. I go, How do, what do you, you know me or something? It's, it's perfectly safe. I'm a trained professional. <laughs> How long you in town? How long am I in town? Yeah. Here. You live here? You like to smoke pot? No. You want to buy some? No. no? Uh -huh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want that hot dog. What's that? I don't want that hot dog. You don't want this one? Get off it right on top of it. Thank you. All right, I'll give it to you half price. 
You want a hot dog? You want a hot dog? There you go. No, enjoy. That's free. Enjoy. No, that's for you. No, no charge. No charge. I swear to God, I could do this every day. How many hot dogs did you eat? Eight. Eight pieces and uh, three slices of uh, pizza on the way home. <laughs> enjoy, the, enjoy me, folks. I'm not going to be around long. <laughs> we'll be right back with Q&A and Girls on Trampolines. Yeah! It's the Man Show! Q&A, uh, some questions from the studio audience and perhaps from some of the chickens on the stage. Uh, where is Joe Williams from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? Joe? Joe, where are Hey, you? Joe. Joe says, after I have sex, I get real sleepy for some reason, and my girlfriend always wants to talk, but I get so sleepy, I usually fall asleep while she's talking. What should I do? <laughs> oh, see, you got to tell her to be more interesting. That's all. <laughs> yeah. That always works on the lady. <laughs> you, believe me, that you'd be more interested if she's talking about sports. What does she talk to you about? Uh, just girl stuff, you know, uh, <laughs> weddings stuff and everything. Yeah, yeah he, he doesn't just, know. He's falling yeah. asleep. <laughs> He's falling asleep right now just thinking about it. <laughs> Listen, honey, show's over. I'm hitting the hay. <laughs> hey, 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 that was a good one. Come on. Thank you. I'm gonna, that was the funniest thing he's ever done. I'm going to be start playing a jug later, actually. Why are there chickens all over this guy? I don't know. Never did that one when did this turn into hee-haw? Uh, Billy Sites. Where's Billy Sites? Hey, Billy. Billy asked, how is it that my girlfriend can fly 1,500 miles and spend two grand to see taping of Oprah, but I catch flack for spending five bucks on a six-pack to drive half an hour to come watch the man show? <laughs> wow. <laughs> they, they act like it's a, a religious mission to go yeah, visit Oprah. They're going on a pilgrimage to see some fat chick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Yeah. Well, the way we see it, you got some, you got, I mean, what, you spent two grand on that? You spent five bucks to get here? You got, like, $1,995 worth of credit. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. lap dance money. That's right. Or you, could, or you could come back 399 times you're still before you're even. And finally, where is um, Dan Olson? Dan? Dan? All right. Dan's drunk. Oh, no, look at this. Dan. Dan says, my girlfriend wants me to shave down there. Is that cool or too gay? <laughs> You're gonna, she's telling you to shave down there and... She's that, wanting me to, she's let, wanting me to shave everything, my whole me, head and everything. Let me tell you what that is. That is the preliminary step before she chops your nuts off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't do it. She wants not you to shave it. so she can draw that little marker line on it. <laughs> you know, it's just where to snip. Make a nice, clean incision. All right, give me my beer back, will you? All right. All right, everybody, raise your glasses. A man show toast, if you would. Zig zaggy, zig zaggy, hoi, hoi, hoi. Zig zaggy, zig hoi, hoi, hoi. Zig zaggy, zig zaggy, hoi, hoi.
Ozuna.